everyone, it's Diane and this is the weekly wisdom reading for the week of April the 18th, 2016. And I'm going to start with a message from the Little Book of Daily Guidance again. And the message that I've been given is 172 Vibrational Healing. And the message says, be aware of everything that has an impact on your sensitive energy field. Well, whenever possible, make sure that your surroundings are tranquil and beautifully energised. Stay away from aggressive people and energise your crystal clothes, water and even the walls in your home with pure love light source energy. Now that sounds kind of extreme, but my sense about this is that it's going to be a really powerful week for energy shifts and changes. And um, there's a lot of stuff going on with all of these polarities that we're seeing in the world, with this emergence of love that's really, really trying to come through now and lots of really loving initiatives and beautiful positive changes happening and at the same time there's a kind of that last sort of vestiges of that other darker energy kind of um, just breathing its last breath and sometimes it gets very intense when those energies are kind of locking the horns again and, and trying to sort of battle it out so um, sorry about the terminology but I'm just going to leave it there. <laughs> Those who know what I'm talking about, enough said. So, okay, so it's going to be a very important week to just fill your home with light, to fill your energy field with new light. So do some energy clearing, um, raise the vibration in your home. Remember that every time there's any kind of a disaster or things happening in the political arena that are very intense, um, you know, wars, talks of war, all this kind of fear energy that's being sort of um, brewed up around us and this anxiety that, that people are sometimes feeling, you know, all of this can be heightened. Um, all of our sensitivities can be heightened when these things become very intense at particular points. And so... In those times, it becomes even more important to get grounded, to get centered, to clear our energy field, because if we're very sensitive and we're light workers, we will be taking on a lot of that energy. We will be clearing a lot of energy when we go into the sleep hours and we'll be, you know, we'll be working full time around the clock. We'll be sending prayers out. We'll be doing healing, going on healing missions in the dream time as well. And it's very important to come back into balance when you're conscious, awake and aware during the day and do the things that bring you back into harmony. So, you know, don't stay away from anything that's going to bring more of that disruption into your space because it's very, very important to stay in a place of balance and peace and to not let anything disturb that peace. So the message continues, return to harmony and balance with the use of flower remedies, aromatherapy, colour, light and music. It's time to recharge yourself with candlelight, calm and kindness until balance returns. So we've been working very hard in this shift and sometimes we just have to really give ourselves a break and give ourselves a chance to rebalance. So in terms of what else to expect this week, I thought I'd choose a message from the uh, colour card. So it feels very much as if that vibrational cleansing, if you like, needs to happen the first couple of days of the week. So I'm going to say Monday, Tuesday, if you get this message on Sunday, maybe even you could start early and just get yourself back into a place of, okay, how do I want to set the tone for this week? Do I need to withdraw in order to do that? You know, think about everything that you have around you, the pictures that you have on your walls, your little spritzes, your angel sprays and things like that. The ability to sort of use salt to cleanse your energy field or herbs or whatever feels right for you. Do everything. Get some lovely music coming in or sacred sounds like the om sound and just really rebalance and reset the energy in your home and within yourself because it feels as if once we do that at the beginning of the week it's going to be quite a powerful week for taking some kind of action is what I'm hearing. So let's see what the colour cards will say about either the cleansing or the more active part of the week. And I've got here nurture yourself so that's just a continuation of the cleansing so if you do feel a little bit unbalanced or you've had to take a bit of a leap recently and you're feeling like oh my god did I do the right thing or Am I going to be able to do this? Just be very gentle and rather than doing anything rash that uh, constitutes a step backwards, just stay in that space. 
because if you're in a space of change it can be scary stay in that space and just be really gentle and loving with yourself and again reset the tone reset the energetic tone around you create your environment obviously we have to go outside still but at least to have a sanctuary that you can come back to even if it's just a room it might not be the whole of your home okay and remember that your home is your heart. You don't actually live anywhere. Okay, right. Attract success. That's the second card that I pulled. So this is very much a time when we're not only resetting and balancing and thinking about how we're going to move forward next, but we're also attracting. So the benefit of doing all of that clearing is that you might have come to a point where it feels like there's a bit of an impasse, like things are not really moving forward in the way that you want them to, but you know it's there, you can kind of feel it on the periphery of your energy field. You can feel that you've attracted it, you've manifested it, or even that you've expanded out into it to a point where you can imagine it being a part of your reality where you couldn't before. You're expanding yourself, you're expanding your consciousness, you're doing all of this stuff, you're visualising things, Things. you're making physical practical changes you're saying yes to your yes and yes to the universe and yes to the manifestations but still there's something that isn't quite coming in so the key could be clearing out the fog for some of us there's a fog and some of it is the fog of fear of doubt because of the insecurities in the world in the world economy in on the world stage however you want to see it some of it is a bit more personal and close to home and it's to do with our own doubts or even doubts that come as a result of feeling impressed upon by others around us where we're, we're you know sharing information with the wrong people or jumping the gun and talking about things before we've actually had a chance to do them and so we're kind of putting that energy out there for it to be sabotaged so it's time to stop doing that to clear the energy to clear especially around the third eye and the crown I'm being told so that you can come back into clarity and a way out of confusion and then once you get back to that clarity and you're, you've reset your energy and you've nurtured yourself then you will be much better equipped to begin to attract in that success because it's not that you're having to manifest it and start from scratch it's already there <laughs> you've done the work you've created it it's there you can almost taste it, but something is getting in the way. So clear away the doubt, clear away the fogginess, clear away the clouds, and come back into that space where anything's possible. I feel like there's one more card from the Little Book of Daily Guidance, um, uh, from the, the Secret Language of Colour, rather, and I'm going to see. It says, Attract Abundance. So for some, it is a concern with... Um, abundance that there are insecurities coming up there are fears coming up in that area and try not to let those fears be the things that are clouding your mind at the moment when you really need to stay clear because abundance comes in all forms it may not be money it might be people offering to help it might be other possibilities coming in when you're on your path the angels cannot wait to support you and to bring things into your reality. Sometimes abundance is abundant consciousness where we can expand and clear our minds enough to see what's being offered and to see what's being presented to us already. So say yes to some of those um, possibilities rather than looking for the lack, for the space where there isn't something. Right, that's it for this week everyone. Thank you so much for watching and if you'd like to book a reading with me, uh, please click on one of the links below and thank you for sharing, liking, commenting and subscribing. Thank you for new subscribers and um, yeah, thanks for all your love and support and I'll see you next week. Have a great week. Bye.